All right, so welcome to the stream. My name is Sumner. I figure you you know that from the from the you know name of the channel. Hello. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name in in chat, but hello, welcome in. Glad you stopped by. So uh, again, my my goal isn't the leaderboard. I'm nowhere close to good for that uh, to good enough for that. Um, I do want to uh, um, to at least uh, my my goal is to just complete all the problems. Harsha, welcome in. Anyway, my, my goal is just to complete all the problems this year. We'll see if that works. I, I think they get pretty hard at the end. Um, I know by 14, I was pretty stumped last year. So hopefully, hopefully, uh, hopefully it's, it's better this year. And also I am trying to, to beat some of my friends. We're in a little competition. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm in third, so I need to have some really good performances over the next few days, um, to, to hop up to first place here, or they just need to do really badly, but considering they've, they've done really well for the first, first, uh, first four, I don't foresee that happening, but We'll see. I would like to be top 1000. That'd be kind of nice. Like, like I was pretty close yesterday and I, I did for day, day two, um, day three, not so much. So that, that, well, that would be nice. Um, I'm going to concentrate on reading the problem and not screwing up really stupid input parsing stuff. <laughs> I brought in a utility function for regex matching that uses full match because that <sighs> kicked me in the butt last time. So I'm hoping that I'm guessing that this one won't have as much regex parsing that tends to alternate between kind of different types of problems. So five is available, get input five. Okay, so don't know what seed, scan all the nearby boarding passes. Okay, so the boarding passes are the input. Oh wait, are these the same boarding passes? Binary space partitioning to seat people. Oh crap. <sighs> Oh, okay, that's not bad. Okay, so it just it just it's just telling you how to do a binary search and then that gives you the number. Okay. Good thing I've literally wrote a problem that is exactly this. The last three characters will be either L or R, and this is the eight columns. <clears throat> okay, so clearly this is this was this was before COVID. Okay, so row column. Okay, so so let me get um, make test five as well. Um, looks like the get input failed. There we go. So this one, okay, we're just a bunch of a bunch of things here. Um, okay, so let 
we don't even need to do any input parsing. We just take the lines as they are, and then we will do um, So the first, what did it say? The first seven characters, L zero to seven. Um, back and words and forwards, LR is just the rest. Okay, um, and then for dir and d and the f. Um, low, high, zero, 127, if D equals B, then, then we do, so midpoint is just low minus, no, no, high minus low. over two, so low plus this, I believe. All right, so we have floor, so it's 63, Zero through sixty-three. Wait, do we do, do, do ceiling? Okay, so if F D equals B, then M. Yeah, we want need to do ceiling. Um, low equals M. low is going to be then high equals m and then ex we're left with exactly one row what row is it this time is it just 44 is that the right answer? Okay, so I think it's just the low one. So, and then we need to do the same thing with the L L R. If it's uh, if it's R, then we do low equals M, high equals M. Um, And then we reset everything zero to seven. And then we will do row equals low, return. Highest seed ID on in a boarding pass. Um, row times call. Multiply the row by eight, then add column. Um. <clears throat> And then outside the for loop, return max set.
Oh, that's not good. Wow, good job, Sumner. 178, let's just go for it. Shoot! So I think I'm missing something. Let's just take Oh, I bet I bet So I need to go here. How do I Let's do this one. RRR. What the heck? So this is <clears throat> this isn't working. That's a problem. Seventy and seven. Those are correct. Oh, I, am I just com computing this incorrectly? Oh. This is the row. This is the column. Wow. I think that's correct. Yes. Okay.
Okay, so clearly I've introduced some sort of regression. This is why I did that. What did I do? That's giving me the wrong answer now. Row call. Oh, the max seed ID. Oh, I'm doing the test input. Shoot, um, that's why I don't, I, that's why I shouldn't use the assertion. Okay, good grief. Let's get rid of it. Okay. Um, maybe I should add a, some sort of thing for testing. Um, Uh, ah, uh, hello, loco man. Very, very funny. Um, SIDS, I guess. Okay, so here. If um, if okay, so first of all, this should be a set, and this should be add, so that we can do fast lookups. Row, and then for call in calls equals range eight if. Okay, so then our computation is this guy here. If this whole thing here is in So if it's full, <clears throat> um, oh shoot, I need to know which of the ones here Um, uh, and not, so if the current one is not full, then okay. If full above true equals, above full equals true. If above full greater than negative one, return
back to the seed ID computation. It's just it's just going to be row minus one because it's the previous row, and then the column is i, I guess. May as well try it. Okay, so Is there any other rules that I missed? Okay, so your seat wasn't at the very front or back though. The seats with IDs plus one and minus one from you, yours will be, oh, with IDs, crap. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. So I just read the problem wrong again. So if prev then it's true if previous wasn't SIDS and Um, <clears throat> if this one is in the size, then potential ID equals row times eight plus call. Um, if the else, if potential ID greater than negative one, then return potential ID, get rid of this crap that doesn't work. Um, oh, that's good. Previous and SIDS.
I kind of wonder if it's just the 603 thing. Oh. <laughs> wow. Okay. That was a... <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, let me bring you into the stream real quick, Sam. Uh, how do I do this? Okay, so <laughs> I solved this so hackily, Sam. It's absolutely ridiculous. Go to see I, the solution. I I just looked through and figured, oh, I I just saw, I found the ID that that it should be. Where's my what's my statistics? Ooh, I went. I I didn't get top thousand on either. That was pretty bad. Okay, I gotta figure out how to actually solve part two, because I, I really just cheated. Uh, take a look at my... Oh, well, actually, do you want to solve it without seeing mine? Because I'm pretty proud yeah, of it. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do that, and then... Oh, I'm, a, I'm just retarded. No, wait, no, just kidding. I had Hold to on. read the description on part two, like, three times before I understood it. My brain just would not parse it. Why am I still getting none? Like, uh, okay, so I my answer was pretty obvious once I just printed out all the potentials, like the ones that don't have a previous ID. Oh, so you just looked at it by hand. That makes sense. That's actually a good solution. I like that. Well, it, it, I would like to figure out how to actually solve it. So I have this this concept of previous in in the set. If it's if it's if it's not in the set, Oh dear. <laughs> I just love hearing you overthink this. Are you... What? Um... Oh, can I literally just like do uh like this all sids dot add Where are you end. actually streaming? Is it like on Twitch? It's on Twitch. Let me get you the link. I'll look on subnervendus.com. Anyway, no, so I think uh, what if I just do this? And then do... Am I actually audible in the stream, or are you just weirdly yeah, talking you are. to someone? Oh, that's cool. I'm just pulling you in uh, over the... Um, with desktop audio. Hopefully it's working. <laughs> like, I guess I don't actually know. Okay, so... What's the deal here? Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> Wait, why isn't it? Oh, oh, and <laughs> I not in all in. No, 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 not in all. Sits. Oh, I don't even need this.
Wow, I feel so incompetent. I mean, this is a pretty direct, just checking in the set is a pretty good way to, like, well, directly implement it. The pro yeah, I think I just need to do this. All senses. There we go. Okay, so that's, I think, the correct answer. Let me just check. So, 603, 603, yeah. Whatever. That was bad. That, I overcomplicated part two, like, really badly. Oh my gosh. What? Oh, just your function for calculating the, uh... For, for this one? the seed ID. This one? No, uh, I, I, you, I just, I, because I only just joined the string, stream ID. Oh, this, this one. Yeah, the top one. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was, that was some ugly crap there. Okay, so I think, hmm. What to do now? So I have this template thing. And I, I thought I would use a regression test thing to help me, but the problem is that it doesn't work when it's the test, test case. So I think I need to edit my scripts to accommodate for that. Um, let me just do this and then... Okay, so first of all, I did have to import math, which sounds like it should be important. So let's just add that to the template for next next time. Um, what else was I doing? Oh, Colin just... Oh, okay, of course it's an... Oh my gosh, it's literally just an... I did... Uh, how did I not see that? It's literally just a freaking um, bitmap. Yep. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Um, uh, what else went wrong here? Oh yeah, I was doing the whole test thing. Okay, so then... <clears throat> So let's do that so that I can actually use these regression tests. Wait, I thought that I added the regression test for part two to the template. Okay, import math. Okay, so I don't know how I could have been, I don't know, I, I just saw, the problem is I, I've already been tainted by another problem that I'm working on, Sam, for the, for the, for part one. So I just like, immediately was like, oh, binary search this thing. Because <laughs> the problem involves binary search, right? Like, <laughs> um, I have to figure out. If there's any, like, I, I, I try it every day to, like, optimize how I do things. Um, and one of the biggest things was th that I tried today, because it, it bit me on day three, I think, 
um, was using this like regression test framework just to make sure that I didn't screw up part one while I was doing part two because that bit me real hard. Um, That's not a bad idea. I've just been, mine writes the outputs into files, so I mostly just rely on a git diff to see if for some reason the output changed from part one to part two. Mm. Which is really lazy, but works. Well, that well. makes sense. I guess I don't, I don't commit in between, so. So let's just see. Okay. To commit them to files, but commit the outputs, but it was easy to implement just coincidentally because of how I put it together. Okay, there we go. I think that'll work. So, so basically now I have have a test flag that gets passed in whenever I use my run test script. I think that'll work. Um, okay, what else is there to talk about? What went right? What went right? Kind of nothing went right for me, actually. Do your, do your scripts work? You got the input. <laughs> yeah, it worked. After like two attempts on part one, and like I, I did, ro I I I I mixed up row call. Oh, that's a fun one. And so it was just wrong. So I don't know what to do about that besides not be stupid. Be like me, just use iterators for literally. <laughs> Uh, let me think. Is there a way that I could have identified that this was a binary freaking like a bitmap? It's just do you know? It's just does the. It, I think it's just if you right? notice it or not. Like yeah. honestly, I'm not even gonna blame myself for it because this I, worked. It's like what? It, it's honestly things like this. I kind of, I kind of don't stand much story with them because it's like a lot of luck, just if the right memory pops into your brain or not, right? Yeah, and I, I've never been one for like bit, bit hacking. I got. Whereas, like, that's your default state. So port. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what else is there to talk, to optimize? Okay, let's go back here. I gotta say, like. That was kind of embarrassing, part two, but like at least I didn't like, I, I kind of like reset and was like, oh, I can hack this. Yeah, honestly, just printing it out, because that is that is actually an example of something where like it, as a human, it's really easy to see once you just eliminate the, once you just find the missing ones in general. Right. Once you've, once you've identified the top ones, um, or like the, because... Yeah, the the ones where there's there's no previous um, ID, I guess. So let's pull in let's pull in this testing stuff into my template. This templating stuff is actually pretty nice, I gotta say. Like, sure, I could copy paste every day, but just opening Vim is also even easier. Okay, I think that's about it. I feel like I'm that guy who like shows up uh, to a sporting, like to a, to play a sport with like all the gear, but then sucks. No, I mean, you've gotten good scores on other inputs. You beat me on most of them. This one, I was just, it was just bit hacking, which is something I'm insane enough to do, and you're sane enough not to do, most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> most of the, except for now, and then it bites me. Yep. Alrighty. I'm gonna say goodbye to the stream. Thank you all for watching. If you liked it, please give a thumbs up, and you should come over and join us on Twitch. I'm doing this every night, and have a good evening.